Now we get to try the Jerome. Oh! For Jerome! While playing subscribers during the weekly sub Sunday event, someone in the chat brings my attention to the so called Jerome Gambit. You played Jerome's Gambit as white? Please elaborate. What's Jerome's Gambit as white? What's Jerome's Gambit? I ask myself. First of all, who is Jerome? What is his Gambit, and how did the union? of these two things come to be. I simply had to find out for myself. There's a website dedicated to the Jerome Gambit. JeromeGambit.blogspot.com Holy smokes. The Jerome Gambit. My man. Wait, what? It's updated May 16th, 2020? This dude researched Jerome's Gambit since 2001 and he updated it literally yesterday. It was a line of play recommended over 140 years ago. He updated this yesterday. That's insane. Do you guys see the archives here? Oh my God, he has an archive from 20, he has an archive from every year. He annotated a bullet game played on leechess.org with unnamed players. Oh my goodness. Guys, I think you know that a gambit is, is cutting edge when a bullet game with unnamed players from leadchess.org makes it into the upper echelons of theoretical discussion. Ah, these are, the, these are the lines you like to see when you're deciding on an opening. Although objectively speaking, black has a win, but you need to make fairly accurate moves. So it's lost. Bishop f7, king f7, knight e5, knight e5, queen h5, g6, Queen e5. Oh my god. Do you see this? The highly dangerous, for white, queen takes h sheet appeared in Jerome Norton, correspondence. My dude Jerome was around in 1876 playing correspondence chess. Came up with this idea. Honestly, he probably just like fucked up, blundered two pieces. And then all his buddies were like, hey man, see that shit? Oh man, let's call that the Jerome, man. Every time you lose a couple pieces, man, let's call that the Jerome. And then all of a sudden it's called the Jerome. Here we go, now we got an opening. His friends were just making fun of him. Now he's world famous. Jerome was fortunate to gain a half point from the two games. It's not exactly how you sell an opening. Jerome was fortunate to gain a half point. <laughs> you could have could have sold that a little better. This is fascinating. Pull up an analysis board here. The Jerome Gambit. So they do have one game in reference here, which goes G6 here. Queen d5 check, king f8, ah, but instead of king f8, there's a reference game, king g7, which was played in the game username Levigan against username obviously on gamenot.com from 2004. So I just want to let you guys know that in 2004 on gamenot.com, this game was played. and white resigned. That's literally what the notation says. It references a game where white resigned on, on move 11. And it also references the fact that this is the only game in the database. <laughs> I can't make this stuff up. This dude's got one game in the database and it's where Jerome's opening falls flat on its face and it's completely losing. This is actually insane because King G7, he has no answer to. After 20 years of research, he doesn't have a single answer to King G7. 
but he spent 20 years analyzing all the worst moves than King G7. Like there's literally a paragraph that says King G7 and the game continued and I just showed you it. And then he doesn't have an answer. He has no analysis. He's like, and white resigned. And then the next sentence says, so if King F8, <laughs> looks like my, my guy over here probably hit a roadblock in his analysis. <laughs> he said, you know what? I'm not gonna tell the readers about King G7. I'm gonna focus on King F8. This, this, is, uh, this is what Jerome would have wanted. And he's interested in receiving games and any possible analysis. He's willing to take games and analysis as old as 1874, but not older because it loses authenticity. Jerome started it in 1874, and we will not have hearsay on this blog. Send him some games? You think I should send him some games? I don't have any games in the Jerome. Okay. Damn it, I'm black against B silks. Maybe it works from black as well. I mean, it is called the Jerome. Let's try it. Reverse Jerome. Let's see if we can Jerome him. Bishop c4. It's all about the Jerome. Knight f3. And now we get to try the Jerome. Queen h5. This is typical Jerome theory. Now, instead of the instead of the lackadaisical queen takes c5, perhaps Jerome would be the type to include this brilliant move. Queen d5. This is absolute precision in the Jerome. Not to rush into taking on c5, but theory has actually improved over the years. 20 of them to be exact, and queen d5 is now thought to be the improvement in the Jerome. There we go. And now, while the king nestles itself on the e8 square comfortably, you'll notice that the castling rights are non-existent here. Jerome users will know this as a slight advantage. There we go, f4, d4. I mean, could you ask for a better position? We have central control. We have castling privileges. Guys, we have castling privileges. We have more privileges than our opponent. And I think that that's what Jerome sought out to do. This was a movement. This was about privilege. Jerome had a mission statement over a hundred years ago. This is about privilege. And I, for one, stand with Jerome. I stand with Jerome. Joe stands with Jerome. Five gifted subs to the Jerome army. F5, pushing forward as Jerome would have wanted. Surprisingly safe king there, Samuel. We're gonna take this knight, queen g4. This is how Jerome would have proceeded. This is how Jerome would have proceeded in stride. E dog, thank you. Queen F four. Tommy, I think we might be able to arrange that, but we'll need some sponsorship. Jerome's currently dead, so probably at around 100 gifted subs, we'll be able to get Jerome back. I talked to Jerome, he told me it had to be 100 gifted subs.
Ah, Eddie, that's very conniving, sir. I like it. We're bringing the rook over. I like Eddie's idea. I keep on falling for you, Jerome. For Jerome. Jerome would have wanted this. For Jerome! I'm gonna send this. I'm gonna email this to that guy. Oh my god. I'm gonna email it to him. This guy's gonna like turn over it. This is probably the first recorded win in the Jerome ever in 20 years. This guy's gonna like fall out of his rocking chair. Honey! Somebody won with the Jerome after all. I told you, honey, it's a good opening. I think I'm excited. I'm excited to see the blog post. Queen d5. I revived the theory. Queen d5, stutter step. This might be it. We could be on to something here. Now, I think it's probably true that the Jerome also works in this case. The delayed Jerome. Oh my goodness, do you guys hear the autoplay? We play the Jerome and all of a sudden? Okay. I see what's going on. Oh! For Jerome! I'm gonna email the guy, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna email him right now. Dear Rick Kennedy, I found your two decade dedicated research on the Jerome Gambit truly fascinating. It inspired me to try the opening out for myself. Much to my surprise, it was remotely playable. With an evaluation barely cresting minus 3.5 on the free to use Lee Chess engine, I considered your blog a gold mine. I've attached one of my recent games utilizing the Gambit much as I'd expect Jerome would have wanted. Please let me know what you think and whether or not you feel that this new theory is worth an addition to your research. I particularly like the move 7 Queen D5 novelty, and I believe it revitalizes the opening entirely. Respectfully, a Jerome enthusiast. I gotta include the fact I'm a GM? No. No. Because that's gonna feel elitist. And I think you guys would share the sentiment that we definitely don't need elitists in chess. Okay, let me just get the PGN for this. I might have to edit the name. In fact, I am gonna edit the name. So instead of Instead of chess bra, I'm just going to backspace that and write Tommy Fook and Shelby. And I'm going to change the rating as well. Yeah, there we go. Great. I, well, geez, I hope to hear from him. Hope to hear from him. A few days later, I received an email from Rick Kennedy himself. The self-proclaimed owner of the Jerome blog. He wrote, Tommy, thank you for sharing your Jerome Gambit game. It has quite a crushing finish. I imagined I was hearing the theme to the movie Jaws about halfway through the game. One of the easiest moves for Black to find in the Jerome is to attack White's queen with his knight. Yet such a strike often, as you show, leads to disaster. I do like the queen check queen d5 as, for starters, gives Black one more thing to worry about. But I have to give credit to Alonzo Wheeler Jerome for playing it in 1875 in his game against Brownson. I'm glad that you enjoy the Jerome. Would it be okay if I share your game with the readers of my blog? Thanks so much, Rick. Naturally, I obliged. All I was thinking was further exposure to the Jerome Gambit would ultimately help me reach my goal of uncovering the truth and the secrets that Alonzo Wheeler Jerome hid away those many, many years ago. 
After several days had passed, Rick had left me in the dark. Responses were non-existent. I thought, perhaps, there was no chance. And then to my surprise, days later, it finally happened. My game appeared on the Jerome Gambit website. I had finally made it, albeit under my alias, Tommy Buchan Shelby. It was a real treat to finally uncover the truth about the Jerome Gambit, to finally uncover the secrets that Jerome had kept from the world those years ago. Naturally, I feel accomplished. I feel that I've served society a great purpose. And I just hope that a few more people might pick up the magnifying glass of life and continue to explore the many beauties that the Jerome Gambit has hidden away. I just hope that somebody out there will continue what I've started. Nice. Hey everybody, hope you enjoyed the video on the Jerome Gambit. It was a lot of fun to make and a uh, big shout out to Rick Kennedy for his serious work on the Jerome Gambit. www.jeromegambit.blogspot.com um, Go check out his website, support him. He's been uh, researching this for a while and I was happy to try it out for myself and submit a game to him. Hopefully uh, helps him out. And on top of that, get some more exposure for the Jerome. Uh, if you guys want to try it in your games, be my guest. But there is a disclaimer. Do not try this at home and I'm not responsible for your rating losses. Um, as usual, guys, make sure to like the video. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're not already. And turn those post notifications on so you guys always know when we drop new content.